Kyle Loesch has spent the last four seasons with the St. Louis Cardinals, and now the 34-year-old pitcher is joining forces with one of the Cardinals' fiercest rivals, the Milwaukee Brewers. The pitcher signed a three-year, $33 million deal with the club. And joining us right now, senior MLB writer for ESPN.com, Jerry Krasnick. So, Jerry, Loesch was really the only top-tier player left on the free agent market, so how are the Brewers able to pull this off? Well, Prem, you know, they, to me, have seemed like a classic def uh, destination for him from the outset. You know, they really only have one big-time starter in Giovanni Gallardo, and he fits right in. But they've been saying all along that they were going to go with some of the young kids, and uh, they weren't in the mood to go out and get a big free agent. So I think what happened is they started to look at some of these young kids in spring training, uh, Mark Rogers, Michael Fires, Willie Peralta, you know, some of the pitchers in camp behind Gallardo didn't pitch very well. And uh, Scott Boris is pretty adept at getting owners involved in the mix. And I think he got Mark Atanasio, the owner involved, with Doug Melvin. And the Brewers decided that uh, they wanted to sign Loesch and uh, give up a uh, first-round pick for him. Scott Boris, one of the best agents in the game, no question about that. So here comes Loesch. He's 34 years old, so he's a little bit older. Nonetheless, with the Cardinals last season, posted a 2.86 ERA, a 16-3 record. What does he bring uh, to the Brewers, and where does he fit into that rotation? Well, he brings stability. You know, he's a veteran guy. He's probably going to give you 200 innings. He's pretty athletic. You know, he can field his position. He can hit. You know, he can do some things, I think, that can – show the young kids the right way to, to play the game. And, you know, you put him in behind Gallardo, and all of a sudden you don't have four spots in the rotation to worry about. Uh, you know, you can piece it together, I think, with what they have. Um, you know, they have Estrada and, and Peralta, and they have some other guys who, who could be pretty good. So he really just gives them some stability where you put him in there, you know, every fifth day he's going to give you six innings, seven innings, and uh, – you know, he knows that division. He's pitched in the National League Central. So I always thought, really, they were the best fit for him. Where do you see the Brewers finishing this season? Well, look, they're not as good as uh, Cincinnati or St. Louis. I mean, those are two teams that, you know, have better rotations, have really good lineups. So, you know, I think we're looking at a, a probably a third-place finish. They do have some guys who can hit, obviously. Ryan Braun, uh, Aramis Ramirez, you know, that they have – some offensive firepower, and, you know, I think they're better than the Cubs, probably better than the Pirates, but probably a middling team, you know, a 500 team, maybe a little bit better, uh, probably what you're going to be expecting out of the Brewers this year. Well, very exciting time this season begins. We are just several days away from the 2013 season. Of course, Jerry Krasick, happy to finally be back at home. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Prim. All right, for more on this story, please keep it logged on right here on ESPN.com. I'm Prim Saripapat with your latest ESPN headline.